Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke today in chapter 20, and we're looking at verses 27 to 33, Jesus' teaching. Let's see what we have here. Then some of the Sadducees, who deny that there is a resurrection, came to him and asked him, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote to us that if a man's brother dies, having a wife, and he dies without children, his brother should take his wife and raise up offspring for his brother. Now there were seven brothers, and the first took a wife and died without children. And the second took her as wife, and he died childless. Then the third took her, and in like manner the seven also, and they left no children and died. Last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife does she become? For all seven had her as wife. Okay, we're going to finish with the answer tomorrow morning, but today, just the question. Now, you have to look at this question and say, these guys sat down and thought this out. They really thought thought that they, they were so impressed by this question that they thought, well, even Jesus isn't going to be able to find a good answer for that one. Well, we'll see tomorrow morning if that's the case. But they thought they really had him over the barrel. This, this is kind of a, a completely, absolutely, this is going to be a God stumper, right? That's, if he, he claims he's a son of God, this is going to stump him. So their premise is, of course, they're Sadducees. So what is their premise? They don't believe in a resurrection. There is no resurrection. So any answer Jesus gives almost is going to be, uh, they're going to they're gonna dispute it. They're going to laugh it out of, the, out of the room. But we'll see what Jesus answers tomorrow morning. You know, it's interesting how there really is no answer. Against truth, there's never an answer. So, of course, Jesus can answer any and every challenge because he is the way, he's the truth, the life. And so Jesus always does have the answer. How does he have that answer? Because he's soaked in God's word. He is the word of God. And so, and he's putting it into practice by interacting with people on a daily basis. So if we would be diligently in God's word, and if we would be like Paul was in the marketplace daily, interacting with people for the claims of the gospel, uh, we would see times when the truth would just triumph. It would be glorious. Why don't we do that? Let's do some more of that. Anyway, we'll come back tomorrow morning and hear Jesus answer. But they think they're they're partying, they're happy, they they think they've got him. This is going to get Jesus. We'll see. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you that Jesus is the truth. Thank you that there is never an answer against the truth, but always for the truth. Thank you that every lie, in a sense, turns around and illuminates what the truth is. Help us, Lord, to be immersed in your word, soaked in your word, just saturated with your word so that we can give light to others. Thank you for hearing our prayer. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends. Hey, you know what? God is good. God is truth. God is love. And so tomorrow morning, let's come to that answer. In the meantime, may you be blessed this day. You are a follower of love and truth. You are a follower of Jesus.